ett lag här verkligen. Marcus Demort är inget man ska göra med. I'm going to be quiet for a moment. You talk about how you feel about last night. Like what the f*** happened? I don't know. Somebody called me poor. They called me poor. That car that you were jumping on. Why did you jump on that car? Did, did you know who the people were that owned the car? No. Did you see people in the car doing anything to you? No. So why did you take it out on that car? I don't know. It happened to be that that car was here to film you and to instigate you. But how did you know that? I don't know. I assumed it was. You were correct. But how did you know? You, you just guessed? I guessed. Frankie, chill. Oh, okay, okay. Do you feel bad about yesterday? I feel bad, yeah. You feel terrible? Yeah. Um, I, I can tell I you do. I can never forgive myself. So you know what? Let me zoom in on your face. Tell people why you feel terrible and why you can never forgive yourself. I, I hit those innocent people and I, I, I tried to vandalize a car. I didn't actually try to. I was just, um, I just said that. I wanted it to, to not be damaged. Hoping I would, wouldn't get in trouble. All right, today's a serious day. I'm, I don't want too many TTSs. I'm going to change it from the 15 to 20. I want to slow it down a little bit. Okay. I'm so glad you're here because I've been so shaken up. I didn't know what to do about this. To tell you the truth, like, you're one of my closest friends. I love you. But last night shook me up really bad, Josh. It shook me up really, really, really bad. Keep talking. So... You, you, I, I could tell you, you feel the worst that I've ever seen you. Yeah, but I still can't get over the fact that he called me poor. What's the bigger deal, that he called you poor or that you attacked innocent people? I mean, I feel remorseful that I attacked innocent people, but the other guy just had no right to talk to me like that. So people triggered you? Yeah. What, what were the triggers? What did they say? They said, you disabled mutant, put the fries in the bag. And to you, what is, when someone says put the fries in the bag, to you, what is that, what does your brain register? It's, what is it like they're it's saying? Calling, it's calling someone poor. When you say put the fries in the bag? Yeah. And to you, is that one of the biggest insults that there is? One of them. Oh, is that it? Oh. It's ready. Well, I'm waiting for your last fries. Okay. He you needs, need to, he needs to put the fries in the bag, right? No, don't say that. Why not? Uh, could I get a spoon for my mashed potatoes? Yeah, sure. Do you know that phrase, put the fries in the bag? That's his big line. Get over here. You got to say your line. No, wait, the fries aren't ready yet. Get over here, Josh. Fries, fries, fries. We're going to... It doesn't have to be done at McDonald's. It can be done at Popeye's, too. Josh, you got to get over here and tell him to put the fries in the bag. Hold on, I'm eating. Get over here. Come on, I'm he's a good eating, guy. Okay. Come on, just come tell him. Whoa, I'm eating. Uh, should I tell him? Yeah. All right. Are oh, oh, we waiting for the fries? Is that our fries? Yeah, yeah. Only nice. last fries, right? Put the fries in the bag. I love you. Thank you. Ah! So, like, what the? F I can't even remember what happened. You left. You left the house. Did I leave the house with you, or you left alone when all that happened? I don't even know what happened. I don't know. So you went. You kicked that. You kicked that lady, and then you ran across the street, and then people yelled, "Put the fries in the bag," and then and then you ran up on top of a car, and then you came off the car, and then you got in an Uber. Yeah. So. Did you hear about that these people are trying to have you arrested? I heard. Do, do you believe it or not? I don't know. It's... Should we call Flanagan? Yeah. What can I do? Okay, TTS is on, you guys. If you guys have any suggestions or help or, or whatnot.
They're trying to get me arrested. I'm going to pin that thing in, in uh, I'm going to go to YouTube fast, and then we're going to... Someone said they hope you don't go to jail. Of course we hope that. I don't think you're going to jail. We'll call fine again in a moment. Jail. Of course. Thank you, Sweet Leaf. Okay. So, I'll tell you the truth. If you didn't just call me and tell me that you were in front of my house, or if I didn't just call you and you said you were in front of my house, I was going to I was gonna take a week off from each other because I love our friendship, but I feel like things have gotten so crazy that we need a time out. But, I know. but you're here right now, so maybe we can just work it out. But maybe I, can't, we got lucky. I can't afford hotels anymore. Okay, so... Let me let me get on the screen with you for a second. So what the f should we do? What the f should we do? You you reached a point last night where you're even embarrassed by your behavior, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for being honest about that. All right. I think that you know I love you, correct or not? Correct. All right. We're very close friends. Like, like, on an ongoing basis, you're my best friend for the past couple months. You know, I hang out with you more than anyone. Josh, you need help. Do you believe me? Maybe. Maybe, like, maybe, you know, I need a better psychiatrist. Okay, maybe. That's a good idea. You, you have the potential to have the best life and to be the best friend to me and other people. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you need a reset. You, you you can't fix it on your own. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it seems to me like the last time that I lost you, I had you becoming a social drinker. I think I was because we're not always together, are we? Like you're with me ten percent of the time, yeah. right? Emily People Stender, don't realize just subscribed on how YouTube. much you're not with me. It seems to me that the two times that you totally fell apart, you were with Quinn coincidentally. You know what I mean? Remember that night about a month and a half ago, you went out with Quinn and you came back. Up, and then you stayed up for like weeks, you know. Now last night you were with Quinn, and and disaster happened. One of the worst nights of your life, right? Yeah. I'm embarrassed by last night, and I love you. I mean, I know you almost couldn't control what you were doing, Josh. You were out of control. I know. It wasn't. You didn't mean to hurt anybody. You didn't mean. You were. So there's some people saying that you've stopped taking your Seroquel, which is an antipsychotic. So I you're can't so you're not being take that. So you have been taking it, yeah. right? But you take it when you go to bed? Yes. Not during drinking during the no. day, right? Okay, so people that are saying he's off his Seroquel, he's going crazy. That's untrue, right? Yeah. Untrue, okay. And by the way, I would rather if you had to quit Seroquel or quit drinking YouTube. and you can't quit drinking, I would have thought quitting Seroquel would have been better. But you didn't quit it. You're taking Patrick it. Patrick Wine and just subscribed on YouTube. Thank you guys for subscribing. We appreciate it. Patrick so just subscribed on YouTube. I think you need help. You think you need help. Are you aware that there's something called an outpatient program? There are. Yeah. Oh, you didn't even know that? Yeah, I Talk knew that. Just subscribe on YouTube. Like, the thing that's scary to you, I believe, is that you go to an institution and you check in for a couple weeks and you're stuck there, right? Yeah. That's not just scary to you. That's scary to me. That's scary to every, most people. But there are outpatient programs where I think I think you hit... It seems like you had an epiphany last night that, that you're embarrassed by your behavior and something has to change, yeah. right? God bless you, Josh. Can I give you a hug? Okay. Get up. Give me a hug. Up, up. You deserve a hug. Get up. This is the breakthrough. Up, 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 my brother. Give me a hug. Frankie, no bites. Don't Frankie, bite Frankie, stop. Frank, Frank, stop. You're going to get better. You're going to get better. Sit down. Stop it. Get away. Frankie, he's trying to hug you also. He's trying to hug you. Okay. Outpatient program for you, if that's okay with you? Uh, Please try it. Think about it. No, 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 no thinking. Any. I can't hang out with you anymore, and I'm one of your only friends. Mm -hmm. Please, let's look for an outpatient okay. program slowly. Okay. We're gonna put you in it. There. You're not gonna sleep there. You're not gonna stay there. You're gonna go for a couple hours a day, and they're gonna remind you that you're handsome, you're cool, you're young, you make money, you have right. people that yeah. love you. If if. If you go to the outpatient program, I think they could make it that you start loving your life. Because the problem is, Josh, you're not happy with your life right now. Right. And we were getting you really happy, but something got up. And, God, Michael Quinn, if you're watching, I don't hate you, bro. I don't hate anybody. But Josh, Josh hasn't been that drunk in so long. And probably you didn't mean any harm. Probably you love him like I do and you're just celebrating. 
But you weigh like 320 pounds, bro. I bought my own drink. It doesn't matter who's paying. If you're watching him throwing back drinks into his 300-pound body and you got a 140-pound body and you're keeping up with him, you know, you walked into the house point fifteen. So Michael Quinn, we're going to fix him. We're going to get him in an outpatient, 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 not a jail, an outpatient program. He realizes now he's got some problems that need to be fixed. And he's willing to fix them. Thank God. I didn't know what the f to do. Will I be able to drink ever again or not? Definitely you'll be able to drink again. But maybe you won't want to. Maybe right. you will want to. Okay? Right. But please, let's just get you happy in so many yes. other ways. You're not enjoying your life enough. Okay. And you were so recently. You've been so happy. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Josh. I'm so proud of you. I'm so... Are you guys proud of Josh? I'm so proud of Josh. We're going to fix this. Okay. Ha! All right. Hello, my name is Mayor Flanagan, and I'm here to talk to you about my friend, World of T-Shirts, Joshua Block. Recently, videos have surfaced on our For You pages showing Joshua in a very inebriated state. There were videos of him kicking innocent people and jumping on the roofs of motor vehicles in New York City. This type of behavior is unacceptable and I've spoken to Joshua regarding it. First, let me say Joshua is very upset with himself. And second, he has recognized that he has an issue with alcohol. Now, as his friend, I have offered him help, and he has accepted that help. Starting immediately, he's going to be going to outpatient counseling. Now, I know many of us would want to see him do something even further than that. However, this is a start. And I'm proud of Joshua for recognizing that he has a problem and starting to address it. He's a very talented young man and the sky is the limit for him. He has millions of followers here on TikTok and many, many people like the content that he produces. I'm optimistic about his future. I'm proud that he has recognized that he has a problem and I and many of you are here to assist him in getting the help that he needs. I hope that outpatient counseling will be good for him and it may be a start to something even further. So thank you for listening to this message and Joshua, I wish you nothing but the best.